the truth of the scriptures within india and abroad men men these are wanted everything else will be ready but strong vigorous believing young men sincere to the backbone of the world are wanted a hundred such and the world becomes revolutionized the will is stronger than anything else everything must go down before the will for that comes from god and god himself a pure and a strong will is omnipotent preach preach unto the world the great truths of your religion the world waits for them for centuries people have been taught theories of depression and degradation never were they allowed to hear of the mighty atman that even the lowest of the low have the atman within which never dies and ever is born of him whom the sword cannot pierce not the fire burn nor the air dry immortal without beginning or end <coughs> the all pure omnipotent and omnipresent atman what we want is strength so believe in yourself my dear young men make your nerves strong what we want is muscles of iron and nerves of steel no more weeping but stand on your feet and be men it is a man making religion that we want it is man making theories that we want it is man making education all around that we want swami vivekananda sought men of iron will and stout heart that did not know how to quake he respected even those who were wicked provided they were manly and strong in their wickedness i have respect even for a wicked person so long as he is manly and strong for his strength will some day make him give up his wickedness and even renounce all work for selfish ends swami vivekananda advised his followers particularly youth to preach the message of divinity to one and all let us proclaim to every man arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached by goal he meant deep abiding faith in our own divinity the surest way to all round development and dynamic living we remake ourselves and attain our rightful glory through spiritual consciousness for this reason faith plays a dominant role faith celestial faith consoling you do more than lift up the mountains you lift the oppressive burden that weighs upon the mind even neponiel has to admit all the scholastic scaffolding falses as a reined edifice before one single word that is faith swami ji dinned those soul stirring messages into our ears the history of the world is the history of a few men who had faith in themselves that faith calls out the divinity within you can do anything and everything you fail only when you do not strive sufficiently to manifest this infinite power you have to work hard as soon as man loses faith death comes and again his wonderful quickening message faith 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 in ourselves faith faith in god this is the secret of greatness if you have faith in all the 330 millions of your mythological gods and in all the gods which foreigners have now and again introduced into our midst and still have no faith in yourself there is no salvation for you my dear have faith in yourself shraddha and stand up on that shraddha and be strong that is what we need we can understand the significance of vivekananda's comprehensive scheme of life when we are awakened by this shraddha or faith when some young people professed belief in an exclusive god or prototype swami ji told them faith is not belief it is a grasp on the ultimate a vision an illumination his brief statement of truth replaces the ignorance and intolerance of all ages with truth there is no equivalent in the english language for the sanskrit word shraddha shraddha 
is not faith in a creed or dogma, but faith in one's own capacity, oneself, faith in the infinite power of infinite human energies which are lying within each and every individual, larger in every soul. It is also faith in the power of truth and goodness, a firm conviction of the ultimate meaningfulness of the universe. Sraddha is the most important quality for developing strength of character and achievement in any walk of life, in any field. In 1897, Vivekananda addressed the people of Calcutta and inspired thousands of young people who were there for reminding them of the story of young Nachiketa, told in the Kathopanishad, I would not translate this word Sraddha, faith, to you. This is a vision, an intuition. It would be a mistake. It is a wonderful word to understand and much depends on it. If we all see how it works for Immediately we find Nachiketa telling himself, I am superior to many, I am inferior to few, but nowhere am I the last or least. I can also do something meaningful. This kind of Shraddha has to dawn in each and every heart and mind, my dear young man. And this boldness increased and the boy wanted to solve the problems which he was in his mind, the problem of death. How Nachiketa solved the mystery of life and death. So likewise, the solution could only be got by going to the house of death. And the boy went. There he was brave, Nachiketa, waiting at the house of death for three days. And you know what happened? How he obtained what he desired. What we want is this kind of sraddha. Unfortunately, it has never nearly vanished from India nowadays. And this is why we are in our present state of despair. What makes the difference between man and man is the difference in the Sraddha and nothing else. What makes one man great and another weak and low is this Sraddha. My master used to say, he who thinks himself weak will become weak. And that is true. This Sraddha must have entered into you. So, Swami Vivekananda's revolutionary global impact on religion and in all spheres of life in all fields of human pursuit, may He transform you and inspire you and ignite you, show you the way all the life long. May you all be blessed with the noble principles of Vivekananda's ideals of man-making and goal orientation. May you all be ignited by His teachings is only prayer of mine. Thank you all. May God and Swami Vivekananda bless you all. Harihi Om Tatsat.